Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the scene tarot. We are going to jump into Gemini's energy. Welcome gems. This is going to be the no contact read. The person that you're thinking about, the person that's thinking about you. What is the information? What is the information? So let's see. All right, so you have the three of pentacles here. <clears throat> you have the star in reverse gems. You also have the king of pentacles. So we'll put this over here. You have the lovers. You have the ten of pentacles. And the eight of cups in the upright. So I'm feeling like there was an energy where somebody made a decision and, and just left you know i'm just get like leaving you behind energy or leaving a situation behind um <laughs> you know the crazy thing about this read is that i'm seeing that within this energy <clears throat> it's like you still had the foundation you know you're still holding up this foundation whether it's a child whether it's a home whether it's you know businesses with this person and they just left this all behind okay um now gemini's this is could be you or this could be a third party here but this is showing up in the upright and you guys should be in reverse because this is a no contact read so either you're broken up as a no contact or you're just not sure where your place is within this relationship where this person is not talking to you anymore okay so this could be you okay because it could be that you're still together but this person hasn't shown up this person hasn't talked to you don't know what your place is within this relationship all right so i'm definitely seeing this is a you know a unbalanced relationship where you were given more um to this person than this person was given to you i'm also seeing losing hope losing faith or feeling like this is hopeless or helpless situation situation within the star okay so the star is a major arcana you guys so this is aquarius for those of you who resonates with an aquarius that is your confirmation i'm also seeing the king of pentacles here as well which there's a lot of security here and that's another thing that i'm i'm seeing like a confirmation like there's some kind of security whether it's a child whether it's a, a contract of a home businesses I'm um, seeing that within the Ten of Pentacles as well, you know, a lot of stability, security, but for some reason, there is a lot of negative energy around this security, stability, where this person chose to walk away, make a decision, thinking this was the best decision for you and for them, and to just walk away, just like that. And and, and their excuses, following their heart, following their intuition, um, walking away from this situation, but I'm also seeing the lovers here that worries me because that means that there is a coming in energy where this person is either still sleeping with you or sleeping with someone else. Because I really feel like this might just be someone else here. Let me confirm that. Hold on a sec. Because this is in the upright. Like this person is like thinking about this person. There's going to be a Gemini moon or a Gemini sun. Um tempted to call this person wanting to be with this person i feel like it's already there like they're sleeping with this person so it really doesn't make sense if that's you okay but hey everybody has their own thing so let's just see what the lover's energy is clarify this lovers for me holy spirit holy angels holy father angel guys hand sisters this lover's energy in the upright <clears throat> what is this lover's energy this lover's energy for Gemini's. Wow. <laughs> Twin flame for, um, energy. This is what they're saying. Like they're stuck with someone here. This could be someone that they've been with for a very long time. So they're still stuck here. They're still living with this person. Um, this is not you. This is what I'm seeing here. Unless you're toxic. Okay. There's a toxic energy, a toxic vibration. They're saying that they could even be married to this person as well. Within the devil's energy. 
It's like, this is uh, an addiction that they can't give up. This is what I'm seeing. Like, they go back to this person every time. Every time they go back to this person. And they're still stuck there. So this person is dealing with their twin flame. Not, yeah, their twin flame energy doing a lot of shadow work. Meaning they're trying to heal. Like their highest self is trying to heal the spirit. Um to evolve okay so they're going through a lot of things that is very fearful things that they're not comfortable with their opposite side feminine masculine energy like they're healing themselves here this person is also <laughs> they're giving me um manipulation like they're a manipulator okay and codependency <clears throat> they're very codependent either on addiction drugs sex um you know a horrible lifestyle a toxic family member or family just the environment of you know all it's just they just keep coming back to that you know drinking and partying like they can't give it up like they're just stuck in that form of energy Tell me more. Well, it seems like you... <sighs> okay. Because I'm going to seem like you have released a lot of your energy within a Nine of Swords. You have choose to release because this was coming severe for you. Like the stress, the depression, the anxiety, the fear, living in fear. Like you have released this energy. I'm also seeing there's a lot of lies that came to the surface here. I'm also seeing a conversation within this no contact read. So you will be talking to this person as well. I'm also seeing the conversation on your end is going to be good because you want to um, resolve this or, you know, bring balance back to this situation. Um, you want peace. You're looking for peace within the Queen of Swords, trying to hear this person out and hopefully having this person to hear you out as well. I'm also seeing the three of swords, you know, you're heartbroken. You're heartbroken. This is what I'm seeing here. It's like the three of swords, you know, this could be a third party that you you heard about or something, you know, in that manner where you are trying to heal or forgive, but you're still trying to heal or forgive. It's not completely over yet. This is what I'm seeing. Like this Three of Swords, it's coming up as in the present moment. And it's crazy how you have the Queen of Swords right next to the Three because they're all, they're both led, led by Libra energy. So interesting that, you know, this is about peace. This is about balance. Um don't want him to break the bridge here really your first your first um option that you really desire within this situation is like whatever happens hopefully we'll be in each other's lives you know um you don't want a traumatic transition to happen and i'm also seeing the strength energy as well So Angel Michael is appearing. I'm also seeing the sun here. Like you're choosing yourself within the sun. Angel Michael is reminding you to have strength because that you're, it's like you're going to be going through a lot of other trials and tribulations and to prepare for this. Oh my goodness. To have courage. Okay, and I feel like, look at how the strength here is right under the two of, well, I'm about to say the two, but the devil's energy and the lover's energy, like the strength. It's like Angel Michael is like reminding you to like, wow, this is going to be a lot for you to handle, but have strength within this situation. All right, so tell me more about the devil's energy. Tell me more about this devil's energy, Capricorn, the 15. The 
15. The devil's energy, Holy Spirit. What is this energy? Four gems. What is this? Temperance, Angel Raphael. Time, healing. Divine timing is at play here as well. So it's like, don't worry about this. They, like the angels are telling me, don't worry about this within the temperance because divine timing is at play here. And the angels want you to choose yourself within this time, heal, express yourself, learn how to express yourself. Like that's not always a, 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 you know, a hard thing to do for those of you who find it very hard. Um, they just want you to put yourself first because there's going to be a transition here where you're going to need to put yourself first. Tell me more. All right, so you have the, the tower energy, you have the four of cups, and you have the queen of pentacles. You also have the moon energy here in Pisces, Major Arcana, Scorpio and Aries within the tower. You also have the nine of cups energy in reverse and then the seven of wands energy here on the very end. So I just feel like whoever you're dealing with, gems, this person is trying to be very controlling within the seven of wands. That is like your last card. This person didn't put you first. This is what I'm seeing because there's empty promises as well. Like your cups are empty. Like you haven't gotten anything your heart's desires from this experience, you know? It's like everything has been a waste of time here. I'm also seeing you protecting your, your energy and your mental state from this person. I'm also seeing the moon in reverse as well. Like the mistake has already took place. Okay, like this is the past. Um, there's no reason why where you should be confused by this or go and want to go back in the past to change certain things because it's already done. This is what I'm hearing. Hmm. <sighs> there was a lot of deception within this moon energy. And I'm also seeing a lot of you are still waiting under a tree hoping for a change even though this person has wasted your time and I'm seeing the tower so this happened very suddenly you know this breakup like I said you know the first thing I saw with this read is that this person walked away very suddenly like they made a decision for you and for them and walked away from the situation and left you behind left you behind here <laughs> it's like they felt like they were they needed to take a journey like this the journey that they were on wasn't the right journey whether this was with someone else or by themselves but they thought that they were doing the right thing within this eight of cups energy they really did <sighs> Mm -mm -mm. all right so let's just see what we have with the connection let's see what this connection is all about here when it comes to gemini's energy what's this connection all about when it comes to gemini's energy okay so we have retreat. I'm always getting retreat. It says it's time to disconnect from the world. So it's either you and this person is wanting to get away because it's two people on this card, but there is many cards, many decks that has retreat and it's only you. So, you know, some of you might be wanting to just take some time away or I'm just seeing like you and this person, you you need to speak alone. You need to have this time alone. Like there's too many people in play here that is trying to be a part of this. Because I do see the seven of wands. You'd also have the seven of swords. This could be multiple people laughing, mocking you. And a lot of you felt this way, gems within the nine of swords, where you felt like people were 
watching you, you couldn't sleep, making fun of you. Like the moon was a little bit too bright at your window, you know, within this energy, within this space. All right, so tell me more. Tell me more. All right, so it says pay attention to the red flags. I haven't seen this one in a minute. Pay attention to the red flags. It says the signs are cautioning you. So basically slow down and just focus, you know. Um, if you need to set healthy boundaries, do that. But I just feel like within this energy, there was a lot of red flags here. Because your angel guides are saying pay attention to the red flags. So there's a lot of red flags that you missed or refused to see. I'm seeing that within the moon energy as well. Because the moon is in reverse, like... Your angel guys is like look we have you can't blame us for this because we have tried to like send you signs but you refuse to see what was happening here stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so a lot of you need to start planting positive seeds i talk about this on the channel all the time manifestation is one thing but also say nice things about your enemy especially those people that hurt you especially someone that you are with like this person and say you want to still be with them like what you do because you have the four of cups here and you're waiting under a tree so you still want to be with this person so you have to start saying good things about them instead of talking to other people and saying bad things about them all the time plant positive seeds instead of negative seeds negative seeds are so easy to plant because we do that every day without knowing so but positive seeds when we plant positive seeds we pay attention to that when we say nice things about people we take notes of that because when that person betray us we're like wait a minute all i have done is said nice things about you and you have you and you're coming at me like this I never in my life said anything bad. I was just telling Lisa the other day, you know, you take notes of everything that you do that is nice. But when you are planting negative seeds, it's so like it's so on a re it's such a regular thing for us to do. We don't take notes, right? So let's see what else. This is a wedding situation. This it says this situation involves marriage. Um, it doesn't say that you are married to this person. <laughs> this person could be married to someone else. That card is so tricky. And then, of course, it says this could be the one on the back of the deck as well. Okay. So, let's see. Hmm. It says this could be the one. Hmm. Let's clarify some cards here. The first card I'm going to clarify is the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so let's see. Six of Pentacles energy, please. What's the Six of Pentacles energy? All right, so we have the Six of Cups. It's funny how you have two sixes here. Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is led by Taurus. A lot of stubbornness. I feel like a lot of you trying to balance out the situation, but it just, it, again, this is a stubborn energy. So it felt like it was, this relationship has been unstable for such a long time. Like no matter what you try or what you do, it just doesn't change. But something brings you back to this energy because you have the Six of Cups here. So this is a contract. This is someone that reminds you from the past or you have memories of this person, childhood memories, or some of you could have grown up together, okay? Or this is a past life connection that you just feel feel like this person is familiar, but you never met them in this lifetime before, but you have lived many lifetimes before in a, in a past life. So that's the energy that you feel, all right? I feel like this person is coming through because you have a contract that you need to fulfill. Um, so this is why this person is constantly coming back around within your life 
you're trying to get rid of them or things doesn't feel right and they just come back within your life all right so tell me about the star in reverse holy spirit holy angels holy father we have the nine of uh, wands energy in reverse the nine of wands energy in reverse this is so crazy it's right it's falling right on the star in reverse hopeless helpless you know situation losing your faith losing your hope on this relationship and i feel like the star for me is definitely an energy like the universe is just not you know making a way for this situation to continue but see everybody has free will to do what they want like but the universe is not going to be like the one to make you meet the, meet up with this person right now or is this not going to be planned within your plan you know that you have signed up for so a lot of us still have freedom of will to choose a a, a path to make it's it's very difficult i, I need that's an, another channel that i need to create to like explain the path but i just feel like this situation here it's like a dim possibility and i feel like this is going to be from you and this person like energy to kind of meet up again um because the universe is just not going to make it feel so perfect and genuine that's what the universe does to make it feel like oh you can breathe to make it feel like it's a comfortable thing for you um it's going to be very uncomfortable here within the situation and I feel like this is like over and over and over again with you and this person because this is talking about the trials and tribulations you being tired burnt out feeling like you're protecting this person um you're protecting this relationship keeping things away from other people especially your friends um a lot of you lost a lot of friends because you were busy trying to keep this protected or keep this hidden whatever was going on within your connection you were keeping this hidden um and you're tired now you're tired all right so a lot of you feel like you want to leave this connection this is what i'm seeing like you just want to walk away from this but i feel like it's also about the embarrassment because i am seeing like this person walked away from you this person walked away from everything that you have built from the ten of pentacles from the king of pentacles there was a lot of security here a lot of stability here and this person didn't care they just walked away from it all right so tell me about the seven of swords i feel like this person wa um, walked away because of the lies the lies were coming out here within the seven of swords so tell me about the seven of swords the seven of swords clarify the seven of swords that's crazy the seven of swords clarify the seven of swords no way <laughs> so this is up and down once you get over something which is lies there is more lies <sighs> once all it's like the it's like this is why the universe is not helping right now with this connection because once you got you you guys get over like a hill of a whole bunch of lies and you finally know everything you're catched up or caught up with the lies um and you're and then now that you can move forward because see everything needs to be balanced out with a scale this whole relationship is on balance the scales are in reverse the scales are in reverse you see the scales here is in reverse this is in the up in the reverse energy so this relationship is on balance positive vibration cannot move into negative vibration it has to be the scales has to be even it has to be even so it's like the universe is trying to help this situation by p bringing out everything that's in the dark into the light so everything can move okay and soon as that happens this person create more lies and more lies and does more things and cover up more lies okay and this is what i'm seeing here so <sighs> okay tell me more about the seven of swords the wheel of fortune the scales you see the scales needs to be even so that good karma can come through i just explained it i just feel like i got goosebumps because 
I don't know. It's crazy when I when that happens. I was just talking about the skills, and here we have the wheel of fortune, the wheel, which is about the skills. Like the wheel has to be balanced for good vibration to come in. It says good luck, good life cycle, destiny, turning point, fate, up and down. Like this is unpredictable, but this is the scales. Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Major Arcana, if that resonates with you. But the scales has to be in the upward motion so that positive vibration can come in if the skills is in reverse then bad vibration is going to come in you see it says bad luck here good luck here <laughs> and thank god it fell on good luck so something has taken place here <sighs> something has changed i feel the scales have been even there but this person needs to stop lying. Like right now the scales are even. But I feel like soon as the angels be trying to help. This person cause another ripple. And you already have the six of cups. Where you guys are going through some kind of contract. And the contract is also still in effect. Still in motion. Ugh. So this connection is quite strong. All right. Tell me about this nine of swords energy. Nine of swords energy in reverse. You have the king of cups energy in the upright. This is all about love. Like you want this person to give you an offer. And I feel like a lot of you released this energy because you felt like this person was going to give you an offer. Um, because I'm seeing in the past tense that you were crying, you were stressed, you were depressed within the nine of swords and you let this go. You chose your happiness. It's like something came over you. It was due to this conversation. If you didn't have this conversation yet, just know that to check your energy, okay? To work on yourself, to choose yourself, to heal yourself. So that the energy can move. Because I'm seeing a lot of power here. And you're also dealing with your heart being broken. <sighs> but I'm seeing an offer. Tell me about this King of Cups coming through. Scorpio energy within the death movement. It's like I'm not seeing you stuck. I'm seeing you moving forward with this situation. Tell me more. The Queen of Wands energy. My eyes like I'm seeing you very open. It's like whatever happened here, you're not even mad about it. Like you're still nurturing kind, you know, just this beautiful soul. Like nothing have changed you in a negative way. But the healing is all about yourself though. Your independence. Just you knowing who you are and what you want. And your angel guides want you to get back to that. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. That's the only thing that I'm seeing where you might just be protecting yourself. On a mental level because you feel like this person is affecting you or triggering you the king of wands the king of wands energy tell me more the high priestess cancer energy for those of you I just feel like you're taking the, the more, you know, mature route. And the high priestess is also in the upright where you're tapping into your spirituality. Talk about that. Um, it's like you're also on some kind of soul journey as well within your energy. 
It's like you didn't trust your intuition before within the past. But I'm seeing like this is why you're protecting yourself because you're starting to trust your intuition here. Trust yourself. Tell me about the moon. The nine of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you guys lost a lot of independence, a lot of your power because of this person within the moon energy the nine of pentacles is about your identity your power your your financial independence your freedom and i just feel like this is in reverse so a lot of you lost this this vibration tell me about the nine of cups in reverse and you have the hyphorond it's like this could have been a marriage for some of you because we do have the wedding there. But I'm also seeing like a, a decision being made to end this marriage. Tell me more. And this person is like, I'm just seeing something being made, like a decision being made to end this marriage and really putting a lot of planning behind it, you know? A lot of investment behind this. I feel like this is coming from the family, this is coming from the friends. <sighs> like I'm just seeing like people don't want you guys to be together. Something about that. Because it's like I'm not seeing like this person is making a decision, their own decision here. Within the high front. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more. We have, wow, number 10. <laughs> it's like your angel, guys, is like straight off the bat. Don't worry about this. You're going to overcome. It says victory, fulfillment, recovery, healing, completed, and winning. Like, you don't have to worry about this. Your vibration is on a high as long as you choose yourself. Oh my. All right. What else? If you need help, ask for help. 444 Angel Michael 888. Okay. You're still a little baby. Like, you might just feel like you're grown, but you're still a baby to these spirits. Okay. So, all right. Tell me more. Yeah, confirm that you're taking a journey alone. It says journey alone, divine downloads, you know, like receiving messages and understanding. Like, I feel like this, this is just going to help you to move forward. You also have the number 13 within the death for those of you. Like, again, not being stuck, moving forward within that energy, within that space. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Then you have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It's okay to show your emotions. Um, for those of you who have a lot of Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces in your chart and you hate crying in front of people, you beat yourself up, you hate being sensitive or showing your emotions or saying I love you first, you know, and you just beat yourself up. Just know that you are made from love. And that's because your heart chakra is activated. Wow. Look at this person in the lake. You know, woman in the lake energy. And your heart chakra is activated here. So tell me more. All right. Past life contracts. So yeah, there is a contract here like I picked up before. Cosmic correction, karmic partnerships unbalanced energy so you're here to do a lot of things and i feel like this is why this person keeps coming up back into your life okay you could have knew this person since you were young 17 18 years old um let's see uh 15 for some of you but i'm seeing that there is something that your soul needs to experience or learn from each other it could be multiple things all right choose love not fear all right 
again going through a lot of trials and tribulations going through a lot of five energies especially for those of you who are dealing with the devil's energy up here number 15 I think this person was dealing with their twin flame connection and it's like they're saying like they're stuck into something very toxic they're chained they're bound to this energy like they can't get away and you are here waiting waiting here we have twin flame gemini energy again let's let's face your fears together so i just feel like you are also going through some kind of healing energy as well like there's some kind of agreement here i feel like this person is going through something with their twin flame but somehow you have something to do like you have a part of that you have something to do with a part of that energy two soul lies so this is all about lies here this is about someone telling you that they're your twin flame when they're not um they're already stuck to their twin flame all right 12 12 on the clock this is a partnership deep love fighting to stay together two soul facing separation someone keeps following you around here all right let's see possibilities change choices opportunity anything is possible i'm seeing transformation i'm seeing scorpio energy <laughs> a butterfly a heart a lot of water-based energy there and I feel like your angel guides are definitely protecting this or guiding this within the stars. <clears throat> this is someone that a lot of you have a child with. Okay, it says, I always wanted you to have my baby. Reset the clock. So, I got that energy, honestly, with this 10. Like, there is a contract here. There is money. There is some kind of stability. Um that I'm picking up and this person walked away <laughs> this person walked away big time uncertain path like you have so many places to go like I feel like a lot of you are busy and you're on a path right now where this might be a little bit rough for you and you're just wondering if you're on the right path but I feel like you have multiple paths to take your angel guides are saying no matter which turn that you make within this energy that you're going to be on the path, but you just need to know that you're on the right track. Like, they're going to put you on the right path. There's no way you can mess this up. There's no way. All right? So, <laughs> and the crazy thing is, this is what I was talking about. This is such an example to your path, right? So, say your path is straight this way, but see, if you have freedom of will, you have, you can decide. It's like, different you know little dots of places where you could turn off of your path but there is still a path to experience if that makes sense um it's not it, it's like it's not in your contract but it's just something that the soul can experience and go through if you choose to do that but your path is this straight line but that's just an example for those of you who are like am i on the right path like if you are not your angels are going to have you turn <laughs> they're going to have you turn around or give you some kind of dream or some kind of sign like they always do the yellow yellow butterflies is also coming up hope always have hope i know i've seen some yellow butterflies um this year so uh if you're seeing it it says listen to your intuition okay and then we have here stay loving and kind stay loving and kind number 16 I just feel like um, you're going to be going through a rough time within your life and you just need to remember to love. So let's just see what this person's energy is all about since we tapped into yours. And then, thank you. person walked away from you and you're still broken hearted 
like I said, a lot of you are still waiting, still hoping there's a contract here. So it's just difficult for you. All right, to like walk away from this person like that, but they have walked away from you. So let's just see what we have for this person's energy solo. This no contact read. I swear, y'all, when I be reading, I just don't be looking at the time. That's why I have my little thing right here, but sometimes I don't look at that either. It's already 40 minutes in. It's crazy. All right, so let's just see what this person's energy feels that's coming through. For Gemini's, what this person feels when it comes to the connection um, of this relationship, this no contact read on their end, solo, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. How does this person feel that's coming through towards Gemini's when it comes to this relationship? How does this person feel? Solo vibes. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. All right, it says let go of control issues, okay? Oh, it says allow the situation to unfold naturally. So again, you know, I do see like you're going to communicate gems with this person. It's like you want to balance this thing out. It's all about balance within the Queen of Swords energy. And the Holy Spirit is like, you know, don't do anything else. Don't try to reach out anymore. Let us unfold the situation for you. Um, because this person... Oh my God. I don't know why this will come up for this person. Because I'm getting the energy for you. <laughs> because the first thing I thought about was the Queen of Swords when I saw that card. Oh, oh my goodness. And I feel like this person might just feel like you're controlling the situation because this is coming up here let go of control issues allow the situation the situation to unfold naturally and i feel like there's some form of communication that was coming up within your read with that like i'm seeing conversation and allowing this person to speak and this person is speaking as well with and, and allowing you to speak like i'm seeing like a balanced energy but this is being implemented. It's not like it's coming in naturally. I'm just seeing like it's happening. Like there is going to be. And it's. I don't feel like it's from the Holy Spirit. Like it's from the, the angels helping. Because you have the star in reverse. Like you know. Like no. there's. We're not doing this. <laughs> we're not doing this. So. And then I saw the temperance within your read. Divine timing is at play. Angels wanted to choose you to choose yourself at this time. Okay? Because it's like you are doing a lot. And that's just you, Geminis. You just want things to be sorted out. You just can't wait. That's not you, you know? Okay, so let me just see what this person's energy has, what their angel guides. Well, <laughs> their angel guides wants to say. Alright. What's the energy? Engagement. But I'm seeing like there is like a like this person is calling off the engagement or the marriage. It's crazy because I did see wedding. Uh now I'm seeing like engagement here. This is crazy. Now, this is exciting to have your relationship go to the next level for those of you who are not married to this person, who are just dating, but then this person is already taken, and I'm seeing like they're trying to get out of some kind of relationship. So their angel that are bringing an engagement, making the effort, so they need to make the effort. This is what I'm seeing here. If they want this to work, they need to make the effort, but they have this hangman energy as well. So they're like comfortable watching and spying instead of sacrificing. Okay, let's see. Wow, codependent. 
codependent codependency so oh my gosh and that's the devil's energy that we saw earlier that you let us know that this person is stuck into something um we also had the high front in reverse where there is this decision that is being made like they're having someone take control and making a decision for them or whispering in their ears how to do certain things or how to solve certain things this is what i'm getting here one more give your relationship a chance every time i got this it's like this person is being told to give this relationship a chance it's either every time i pull it for you i just be getting it in every read Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And I feel like you had this two gems. And now this person is having that. It's like there's so much negative energy. It's so easy. So easy to think negative upon your relationship. And it's like you have to practice and reprogram your mind how to be positive. It's crazy, right? To manifest, you have to reprogram your mind. If you want anything like great within your life, you have to think about it. You have to say, you have to reprogram your mind. It's crazy how easy it is that to, to be negative, to be low, and it's so hard to be positive. <laughs> to master that energy. But this is what's needed. All right, so let's just see this person's energy, this person point of view. Thank you, angel guides, ancestors, what's going on? Solo vibes with this person. The Five of Cups energy. You have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. The Moon in reverse. Pisces energy again. You have the the ace of pentacles the nine of swords and the ten of pentacles okay <clears throat> I'm just seeing like this person is going through a lot of low vibration right now. Um, when it comes to this relationship, it's like they're saying like they're going through the grieving process of this relationship as well. And you know, I'm just feeling like this is also disappointment within themselves as well. It's like they're trying to forgive themselves for everything that they have done or the pain that they have caused you. There was a lot of loss here within this relationship. A lot of independence that was lost. A lot of power that was lost. And I'm also seeing here the moon energy as well. There was a lot of secrets. Like something wasn't right. Like this person was keeping things from you. Like this was making you fear, feel very fearful. Like it was just, it was just no security here within the situation. It just felt very dark. This relationship, especially when everything hit the fan, because this is in the past tense, like it's already happened, like, you know, what you were feeling. And this person is like, there was a lot of dark times here within this connection. Another thing that I'm getting is like, damn, it's like they're saying to me this should have ended a long time ago. Like, the way it was going, they, they thought it was going to end it earlier than this. Like, they didn't think that the, the time that you have lost, la um, what is it, the time that you have last within this relationship... They didn't think that you were going to last that long. They thought that it was going to be over quick. 
And then you have the Ace of Pentacles. You have the Nine here where they're saying that you released or moved on or heal or forgave or let go of the trauma that you have experienced in this connection. But like you had to forgive, but you have lost so much more. I'm seeing the Nine of Pentacles. I'm seeing the Ace of Pentacles. Like this is a, some of you were married and you just had to separate, but I'm seeing like something here is standing like a contract. This could be a child that's involved with this situation. Like you're trying to keep this household as healthy as possible for this contract. Let's see. The moon. The five of swords in reverse. The fools and the page of wands. We also have the seven of cups. We have the justice in, in the upright. And we also have the eight of wands. So there's some good news coming in. This is what this person is saying. Like they're going to share some good news. This is about the truth. This is about the justice. They should have did this a long time ago. But they're moving in very quickly with this. Now there's other people here though. That's coming up for them. Other options. Other responsibilities. They don't know how they're going to deal with this. They're trying to figure out a way. A way for some kind of new perspective. Or new directions from their angel guides. To work through this. Um, also seeing the fools here so you know what that means they want to resolve this situation and the fool is jumping back in second chance perhaps for those of you hmm it's like this person wants a second chance this is what I'm seeing here but they're disappointed in themselves They're trying to find peace, trying to move on from this and find peace and forgive themselves for what have happened. <laughs> They're going through that process in the present moment. This is not in the past tense. But the five of swords is like the embarrassment, like they took this way too far. This is what I'm seeing here. And they're trying to resolve this five of swords. It's like they failed within the Five of Swords. I'm getting failure. And they're trying to come back. I'm getting that, like, trying to come back energy. From the Justice here. From the Fools. From the Five of Swords. What else? Oh my gosh. It's like I'm seeing like this person regrets what they have done. The Two of Cups. This is why I was like, yeah, you know, this this um, devil's energy, <laughs> I don't think it's you because you're still sleeping together. You have the Two of Cups in reverse here. There it is. Two of Cups in reverse. So this is a third party situation confirmed. We also have the Page of Swords within this person's energy. So it's like there's a lot of talk about this. Everybody's wondering what this person is going to do. A lot of curiosity behind the scenes. It's like so many people know, like their family know, their friends know, but you just don't know. I'm seeing this person is waiting for the right time to approach you within the hangman. <laughs> waiting on the right time. They put a pause on this connection. This is what I'm seeing here. They walked away from this connection. They put a pause on it. They feel like you have moved on within the Four of Cups. I'm also seeing the Four of Pentacles. Like, they're saying that you had something to, like, you let go first, so they let go. Because you let go of them when it comes to stability wise. Like when it comes to the money, when it comes to investing in them, like you act like you didn't want to be a part of this relationship anymore. So they made a decision and went their separate ways. Hmm. Wow. I'm seeing a chariot here. 
So they have their tail between their legs right now, coming back towards you within the chariot. Wow, what an embarrassment. Oh, let me get my other deck. I'm being called. Being called. Where is it? Yeah. Being called to it. I'm going to remove this one. All right, so let's see what we have here. Let's see what we have. Holy Spirit for this person that's coming through towards gems. Let's see what we have for this person that's coming through towards gems. Okay, so let's see. It's like there's a decision to make, but it's like they can't make it. Yeah, look at that. Cloudy judgment and heart fog. That is crazy that these two came out together. Cloudy judgment and heart fog. It's like... I'm seeing like this person can be by themselves, y'all. Yeah. I'm getting like by themselves energy, like on a reel. This person always is like always by themselves in their solitude. Um, even though they're talking to other people and gossiping, but the mo majority of time, I'm just getting like this person is by themselves. I'm seeing Miss Signal here, blocked emotion, mixed up. It's like they're messed up in the head. I feel like their angel guides are really like showing you their your name all the time. They're rem remembering a lot of good memories about you with the Six of Cups. They just can't get you out of their head, their dreams. It's like they're ha they're being haunted by you. Yeah. Look at that hard fog with the heart. <laughs> Don't you see that little heart? Oh my gosh. They have feelings for you. That's what I'm seeing. Daydreaming, fantasizing about you. No way. Wondering what life could be like with you right now. <laughs> oh my God. This person fantasizing about you. All right. Karmic. Karma energy cause and effect. Yep, they're going through a lot of learning. It's not like their angels are teach or like whipping them or anything. Because the angels don't do that, okay? And so it's like they're just trying to correct the, you know, this person, the energy that they put out. It's a cause and effect. Like they cause this to happen because of a decision that they have made that has effects. Everything that you do within this life when it comes to other people that it might affect other people is you is is going to cause an effect okay so when you make a decision when it uh, when it's about other people life is going to have an effect so just know that this person did a lot of wrong things and now they're being taught and shown so they could just be feeling like everything is against them like everything that they touch won't prosper like they feel like they just have this bad luck and the universe have forgotten about them but it's not the universe is actually teaching them and looking out for them and is actually with them every day of the second um and this person feels so alone but that's what happens when you're in the body and i'm also seeing only about you it says devoted attached crave so this person is craving you oh my gosh devoted to you i just feel like this person felt like it's fault it's like they walked away from you they were into some toxic situation with another person and because of that toxic situation it's like they're realizing that your love is so pure they're never gonna find this anywhere else even though you guys are in reverse but 
the little bull crap that you guys were dealing with is nothing compared to what they're dealing with now within this horrible energy that they're experiencing they're having a twin flame energy experience which is horrible okay which is not good all right so this is all about learning and conquering your fears when it comes to twin flame all right so let's see what we have here it's like they're resistant to like tell you how they truly feel keeping their feelings hidden it's like their feelings are getting stronger and stronger but you feel but they feel like it's hopeless or helpless they feel like they're falling into despair like everything is falling apart like they're sinking in this energy can't even show their face it's like they're trying to um again a shame of who they are and what they have done they can't get over you I'm seeing like again intuition their dreams messages it's all about you clinging energy obsessing spying and they are so spying in the hangman watching you can't stop thinking about you memories is coming back up again this is bittersweet <laughs> vibration bittersweet energy okay let's do five more of this and then let's we're gonna start to clarify Ooh, I'm seeing soulmate. So depths, they're saying that your energy, it's like you guys have a deep bond and it goes back in time. There's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of love. This is like a soulmate connection. It explains the two of cups. All right. Energy here, mutual feelings, despite that you guys are separated. There's a lot of silence between you and this person right now, which you're not speaking because this is a no contact energy all right there's still a lot of secrets or mystery behind this and you want to find out the truth and they know that they have a lot to tell you but they cannot show their face right now because you're so right you're so right but now they're figuring out what you are to them soulmate energy <laughs> deep love unity connection they want to be reunited with you when you're together, you're much better together than apart. But they didn't know that when they walked away from you. And it's crazy because they walked away with their intuition and within the moon. Because the Eight of Cups is all about the intuition and making a decision, thinking that is the right decision. But sometimes when you're going through fear and you are very fearful, that could be very tricky it can make it that fear could make it look like you're making a decision based on your intuition but it's based on fear and i felt like this person because of all these feelings that was popping up this person got really scared and left the connection all right now <laughs> okay so let's just get some confirmation on here Confirmation when it comes to the three. Confirming all the cards in reverse. Okay, this person doesn't have a lot, which is not too bad. That's good. Pretty good. All right, so the first thing we're going to confirm for this person is the Nine of Cups energy. So what's the Nine? Not the Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles energy. Okay, Nine of Pentacles energy in reverse. What is this energy? The five of wands in reverse. <sighs> and I feel like this person is like, yeah, we lost everything because we just couldn't keep it together. There was a lot of competition, a lot of people, a lot of fighting, a lot of fussing, a lot of de a deception, a lot of um, betrayal here, lies, just jealousy. There was a lot of other people that was jealous of you. Tell me about the sun in reverse. No, not the sun, the moon in reverse, Holy Spirit. 
and moon energy for this person. Look at that, the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know what I'm getting? Like whoever this was, like the secrets within the moon, the the environment, how you felt, like something was off, like, you know, like even with this in this energy, you just felt like you were unsure, unsafe. Like you walked in a room and something was up, like they were plotting a plan behind your back, concealing things away from you. You it was all about your power. It was all about your strength. It was all about your independence and who you are. Even though you felt like you were possibly nothing within your energy, right? Even though you felt like you were just a regular person, like everybody's on the same page. Like these people didn't see that. They, it's like they were jealous of you somehow. Like, it doesn't even matter if you were struggling. They're still jealous of you. I feel like wherever you go, or no matter what you do, or how you decide to look in life, there you're always going to have jealous people following you around. Even if you're trying to blend in. It's just your soul. It's just your soul. Your soul is vibrating a, a light that is blinding them okay blinding them tell me about this ace of pentacles we have the eight of swords <laughs> this is not going to it's like this person is saying like everything ended and it was lost and you still found your way out you still got your self-confidence back you still got your power back you still got you know your value back you still removed yourself from being trapped or bound or restricted you still found yourself it's crazy that whatever this was it didn't work tell me about the nine of swords which they're saying it right here gems that you released your energy you released your energy you chose not to be in depression experience anxiety or let this person affect you or push you in that energy and that and, and 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 keep you in that limitation and trigger you you chose not to tell me about the nine of swords the queen of wands it's like you're standing up for yourself you have changed it's like you're becoming it's like just be careful with that energy as well because it's like you're showing up as being more stern. Like not with the bull crap. You know, not, you know, just need more information from their stories. So you have change within this energy. It's like you're more doing you and standing up for yourself. The Queen of Cups because you just don't have any... In no security within the situation a lot of you don't feel safe with this person anymore so they're saying that the queen of wands is in reverse the queen of cups like you're wearing a mask energy basically because if the queens are in reverse the empress is going to be in reverse like they're looking at you as the empress in reverse but i just feel like it's not even about in reverse it's just that you have you're manning up, you know, instead of feminine, you're really tapping into masculine energy and standing up for yourself. You're being more, you know, having that more authority. Um, that's it. This is final. And that goes, you know, that's it. <laughs> All right. So tell me about this five of swords in reverse. The ten of wands energy. It's like this person wants to make peace with you because they realize that they did have a lot of burden that they were carrying. That's what I'm getting. The Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse.
I just feel like this person is losing. Like, yeah, they got defeated, but they're also losing money. And be careful with this person because I'm seeing like... It's like they're not... They haven't changed and they want a new beginning. And they want to come in here like real fast. Tell me about the Page of Wands. They don't know how to, to approach you because you seem different. You're free now. They've never been with you this free. Like where you are very filled with your self-confidence, who you are as a person. Um, you are not going through depression. You're not, you know, double, like having doubts or in your head about things anymore. Your mind is pretty calm and they don't know who you are within this energy so they're saying when they met you like you were all over the place like it will it, it, <laughs> this person is very shady man because they're looking at you in reverse and they're like they don't know how to deal with you they don't know how to to work this out within how you're like this you know in this power they rather you be you know very needy and codependent but yet they're saying that you change within the queen and the the queen of cups and also the queen of wands energy where you're being more aggressive um wow tell me about the two of cups <coughs> thank you <coughs> All right, tell me. Ugh, about to say tell me. All right, the the queen of the two of cups is the knight of cups. So yeah, it's exactly what I thought it was. It's like wanting to have a second chance. Roll the dice. This is what I'm getting. Like they want to have a second chance with you. Um, this person is acting like they're the person for you. You're not in shining armor. How could you not know? It's me. You know, that's how they're coming in. Like they know that they're pretty dramatic but at the same time it's like this person has a lot of romantic feelings for you okay and passion for you very attractive finds you very attractive um so tell me about this four of cups energy so two fours here the four of cups four of pentacles which i don't like and I just want to point out it's in reverse. So clearly this person was in another relationship. That's why they couldn't give you the time or they weren't consistent within this relationship with you. Um, just point it out to me. Like, what? Why do we have four fours beside each other? Tell me about these four cups. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The three of wands. So they're saying that whatever they had going on ended. Didn't work out. Or they're just not interested in this anymore. But it caused a lot of distance between you and this person. This is a setback. It's like this person had a time. Like a dis like they had their time to do this. Before in the past. And I'm just getting like this person missed their opportunity with you. Like this is not the best time to come back. Okay. And to try to. To fix the situation with you but it's like i'm seeing like this person is gonna take it anyway they're gonna take it anyway tell me about this four of pentacles four of pentacles clarify the four of pentacles that's crazy four of pentacles clarify so and it's crazy because they're saying you checked out and they're trying to say that you left them first. That's why they walked away from you. So they're saying that you left them. So they walked away from you. But now they want to come back within the chariot. I didn't even re remember the chariot is here. Um, also within the justice. So many cards within the five of swords. Within the two of cups. I mean. But this person again. This is what's behind that four of pentacles, the four of pentacles in the upright. So it's like they're saying like this situation is over, but let's just clarify. 
because I just feel like with that four of pentacles is like why they're giving you such like control like they're giving you like like they want to be in control of the relationship in the time like yeah we can have a new beginning we can do this but I need to be in control so tell me about the three of wands energy three of wands energy the star in reverse the universe is not playing games with this person okay aquarius energy in reverse like this no they're not being a part of this so it's not the right time just like within the three of wands it's just not the right time they missed their opportunity it's what it's been way too long it's been way too long tell me about this energy all right so you have the queen of pentacles in reverse Again, you have three queens, the three of cups, the queen of wands, and now the queen of pentacles in reverse. Like, you're blocking this person out. They know it. Like, now you're protecting your state of mind. You're protecting your money. You're protecting your sanity, your family. Like, they're not a part of your, your circle anymore. You know, even though it's like within this energy, you know, it talks about both within the fools you know like this person wants to jump in without you know thinking about the past this is great and everything but i'm also seeing like you're not holding anything any grudges but you're not letting this person take advantage of you i want to do a future watch real quick because we're pretty much over this one this is like this person's energy so let's just do a future swatch with you and this person guys i still have that little dry cough you know so it's getting better just gotta be careful out here in the streets okay gotta be careful all right so let's just see what we got already up all right so let's just see a future swatch for this energy a future swatch for this energy what's the future swatch here So you have the devil's energy. You also have the eight of cups. You have the three of cups energy as well. You have the page of swords. You also have the five of pentacles and you have the three of swords energy. in the future so you have the devil's energy in the future you have the eight of cups in the future again oh my gosh so there is something shady happening that's going to be revealed in the future this person has someone else it seems like they're going back to someone else in the future you have the three of cups in reverse and the eight the eight of cups this is the toxic vibration capricorn energy toxic energy some form of addiction that they can't seem to to put behind them whether it's a person or just something that they've been dealing with drugs drinking sex you know um family situation family drama family issues friendships from their past the lifestyle okay selling drugs whatever 
you know, being that Bob Mouse, okay? <laughs> but this is deep, you know, this is from their childhood. They can seem to rock it, you know, and they want you to be patient. They want you to be patient with them. But they are going through some kind of lifestyle that it seems to be following them around. And then it seems like you're going through it. You're constantly going through that vibration. So, and this is shady because it's like they're walking away to someone that was a friend of them. The friend, someone that, you know, act like a friend. Um, someone that act like they were a family member, but they weren't. Like, it was something shady here. Like, this person told, told this person everything within this page of swords. Even though I am seeing, like, I'm going to take care of my responsibility with the Five of Pentacles. This is someone that they left you here once before. Like, they left you with for this person once before. Because it seems like you know who this is within the Three of Swords being in reverse. This is crazy. I don't know why I wanted to do a future swatch because I never really do within a no contact read. But something was telling me to do a future swatch here. And this is what's coming up. Like this person is crazy. I think that's what I'm going to title it. Yeah, your person is just crazy. All right, tell me more about this. Tell me more about this Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. Let's shuffle this real quick. What's the energy here? What's the energy? What's the energy here? So. All right, so let's see. This is secrets, hidden secrets. Okay, let's see what we got here. Look at that, the second chance. Boom, 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 boom. All right, sorrow, <laughs> grief, loss depression let's see what i have i do still like within the future energy this person still has a lot of feelings for you they really do still have a lot of feelings for you and i'm just seeing like this person is su like suppressing their feelings like don't want you to know or don't want you to have that power over them okay because again the five of cups is coming up like this grief this loss this depression this so this sorrow energy that they have been feeling a lot of great energy wanting a second chance with you you know having this open heart energy with you like you're their person but for some reason there's this could just be an addiction issue for some of you and this could also be a third party i just feel like your heart is way too broken here and I'm just seeing other people being the cause of this. Like, there is something shady happening, like a third party. Like, there is way too many people in my relationship with the Three of Cups. Like, there is a third party in my relationship within the Three of Cups. That's the vibe of the Three of Cups. Three is a crowd. <laughs> Don't mean to laugh, but, you know, because y'all gonna come at me. I'm gonna start... If y'all be um, coming at me about my laugh in the comment section, the comment section gonna be closed. Watch. Let's keep going. I can't be myself on my own channel. That's crazy. Okay? Imagine. You can't be yourself in your own house. <sighs> anyway. But I'm seeing that this person, this has a lot. Fantasizing about you, thinking about you, having this realization. It's like I'm seeing a lot of self-sabotage here. Because it's like, whoever this is, 
it's like this person knows about their addiction this person knows about their toxic ways their toxic vibes their shadow side this is what i'm seeing here this could be their twin flame that they're dealing with going through this energy going through this space it might just be ugly for you but this won't this person is going through a lot of healing in their own way dealing with their twin flame connection okay um man tell me more look at that two of cups again mutual feelings and separation i'm also seeing the chariot again the four of uh, pentacles i'm seeing the six of wands energy i'm also seeing the five of wands energy the five of swords in reverse like the same thing the temperance angel raphael is like up in here within the future saying to choose yourself choose yourself because you're constantly bringing up this three of swords like you know who this person is <laughs> man so i'm seeing like this person walked away from you and made a decision like made a decision to come back Okay, let me clarify this. So I'm getting two different messages. All right, tell me about this chariot energy. Where is this person going to? Where is this person going to, Holy Spirit? Trials and tribulations. Okay, so it is you. The five of pentacles, the seven of pentacles, the, 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 the nine of wands, the trials and tribulations. And you have been going through a lot of trials and tribulations, the history of it all. The five of pentacles, so it is, it, it is you. Making a decision to go towards you within the chariot, um, to invest, to overcome this five of pentacles. Five of pentacles is right here. Like they're coming towards you to help you with the five of pentacles. Um... You know, but realizing that this person is, you know, bringing back this third party situation, what you, you took a lot of time to heal from. And now the temperance is back where you're going to have to go through the same healing process again. Choosing yourself here. I'm also seeing the five of swords like they're trying to resolve that also within the future energy. Looking at you as the six of wands, the victory. wow yeah the victory is crazy because that's what the chariot is going towards like this success this victory this journey and you're on a journey to victory to success it's like you're about to like have like this public acknowledgement you're about to receive some kind of award i don't know a lot of your businesses are going to be like taken off online or something overnight i'm just seeing online business here something to do with online that's where you're promoting your stuff multiple things that you're doing i'm just seeing multiple business large following okay internet i'm seeing traveling too within the future energy like you're gonna have a choice wow so what is going on here we have the eight of pentacles we also have the eight of wands look at all this eight talk about angel michael huh eight 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 angel michael showing up eight of pentacles eight of wands and eight of swords Woof. The protector himself showing up in the future i just feel like there's just a lot of things going on you know that you're feeling really down like there's a lot of challenges there's a lot of change and you are just you don't know how to navigate this you don't know how to get through this you're having a hard time 
this is what I'm getting. An angel of Michael is there to comfort you and to know that and to have you know that I got your back. You know, like you're protected. Um, like I'm just seeing this energy because you feel like even in your future energy, like you're trapped, but you're not. It's in your head. So a lot of that mental illness that you have let go of with the nine of swords, you know, gems like you have let go of depression, anxiety and stress. And in the future, I'm seeing because you're going through a lot you are tapping back into that dark energy um but i'm seeing good news coming towards you very quickly even within the future energy i'm also seeing that whoever this is that you're dealing with is someone that hasn't changed their stripes okay haven't changed their stripes so they're the same person like they haven't progressed in life and this could be an older energy, like in the physical realm. This could be someone that is older than you. Okay, so let's see. Let's see here. I'm seeing heart fog. But I'm also seeing like self-growth, self-focus, finding your soul, like something about nurturing yourself, um, divine feminine energy as well. I don't know, I'm just gonna like you're being stuck. I think you have a decision to make. You have the heart fog energy. Tell me about this situation. This is because you want another chance. This is what I'm talking about. And a lot of you are going to be like, hell no, not me, but us. I listen. This is what the cards are saying. Like, it's all because you want another chance. You want your knight in shining armor. This person is confusing the crap out of you. And a lot of you are going to be with this person in the future, dealing with this no contact energy, this in and out energy. One moment you're together, the next moment this person leave you hanging. Um, that I'm seeing the four of swords, like you're protecting your heart from this person. You also have the star in reverse here as well. Again, the angels are not getting involved with this, not quite yet. The star is in reverse. <laughs> They were like, no, we ain't going to make the sun shine on this one. We're not going to make the wind blow in a certain way to make you feel like this is a romantic setting. We're not going to make the butterflies come out around y'all. We're not going to make, you know, little white pe petals off the tree, like have these snowflakes so y'all can have this beautiful kiss. No, we're not going to do on anything. It's going to be your, your turn, your choices. Okay, that's what the Holy Spirit is saying. No, we're not going to do it. Not right now. I feel like they tried. They tried. Then we have the two right here, the two of wands. You're at your crossroads within the future energy. So the Holy Spirit is giving you a chance to choose a different path. It's just like that path card, that uncertainty energy, that, that card that I have in my deck. And I explained like the path. Um, it's like they allow you to go on certain paths for a certain amount of time. But it's up to you. You know, they could put another path, a more exciting path within your life, but it's up to you to choose that path for yourself. And I'm seeing like this is the world. So a lot of you are going to be traveling. This is going to bring happiness to you. This is what I'm seeing, like you're going to be happy. Um, you're taking this route, okay? This is going to be different. A lot of you are leaving home. You're leaving something familiar. This is going to be scary, but you're leaving something that's familiar. All right, so tell me more. All right, so I'm seeing clarity. I'm seeing abandoned energy. I'm seeing apology. So I'm seeing that you're going to get the truth really soon. The truth is going to come out. This is what I'm seeing. 
I feel like why this person abandoned you, why this person left, why this person walked away, why this person was so cold. Like the truth is going to come out. Be prepared, you guys. And I'm seeing because the truth is out, this person is saying I'm sorry. Because the truth is out. That's crazy. I'm getting that hopeless energy again. Hopeless, helpless energy. You have more answers than you more well, more questions than answers because you're stressed. It's like this person's energy constantly make you feel stressed out. There's a lot of pride here and also a lot of conflicts. There's a lot of pride and also a lot of conflicts here. So this could be a Leo. I feel like you guys are clashing. Like you can't get to see clearly because of the clash. Um, Gemini's, a lot of you could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Cancer or Pisces too. Because the water is getting in your eyes. Like you can't get to see. If you're dealing with some kind of water sign. Like they're affecting you with the water. Like the waves are too high. Hmm. All right, let's do, you know what, let's do some clarifications since we have these cards out here. The first one we're going to do for the future energy is the Three of Cups. We already did the Chariot, so I'm going to skip that. Well, it's not even in reverse. So tell me about the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups energy. We have the Sun energy in Leo. You know what I'm seeing? This is going to be very sad for you because I'm seeing like this person. This is the Devil's energy. They haven't changed a bit with the Eight of Pentacles from the, the, the Devil's energy up here. They made a decision within the Moon to go with this Three of Cups. They're talking about this is where they're most happy. Nah, I don't know. They're giving me this sun vibration. What is this, Holy Spirit? <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. What? I feel like you sort of protect yourself when this person did this. Like, you don't understand this. It's like they're saying, like, this is where they can be themselves. So they can't be themselves with you. Or they feel like they can't be themselves with you. Something about you um, protecting yourself mentally. For, you know, asking questions, especially when it comes to stability, security, family. Like, you don't trust this person. Like you're closing them off. <clears throat> like you're shutting them out. They're looking at you as a queen of pentacles in reverse. Again. Uh, nothing new. But I'm just saying like this right here. This is the hard to swallow. Hold on now. This is hard to swallow. Because that three is the three in reverse. The Three of Cups in Reverse is the Sun in the Upright. That's crazy. All right. Okay, so tell me more, Holy Spirit. The Lovers. Yeah, it is what it is. Remember, we had the Lovers energy. We had the Lovers. We had the Devil. I mean, this could also be... You can also be the Lovers gems. You could be the third party that they keep running back to. I'm getting two different energy. I, I don't know why I'm getting this with y'all with every read. Like, I'm just getting two different energies. So, again, you know, we had the Two of Cups energy in reverse. And then the lovers keep showing up in the upright. Like, they're still sleeping with this lover's energy. And here it is again. So, whoever this third party is, I mean, they're saying it's toxic. All right, they can be themselves around this third party and they're showing up that they're toxic. They're showing up that they're dealing with some kind of addiction. This who this is the person that they can talk to, this third party, which I picked up before. 
Like they tell this person everything. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you are just like disappointed just now because you're like, oh hell no. Mm -mm. All right, so tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. This is about the Eight of Cups. So something about this person, it's like they're saying like they put a lot of hardships in your life and they left you with everything on your back, um, especially about the contract. OK, they're talking about the children. They're talking about the house. It's like I'm just getting like this person walked away from their lives. OK, like this is what I'm seeing, like this person just walked away from their lives and this is something that they regret. So this is why this person keeps coming back to kind of resolve that. But you know who this person is in the Three of Swords. Tell me about the Three of Swords, Holy Spirit. The Three of Swords energy. Tell me about the Three of Swords. The Ace of Pentacles. This person destroyed your relationship. The Three of Swords is what destroyed your relationship. Okay? You had to heal from this. But your relationship, this is what you're saying. Like the Three of Swords, you know really destroy what you got going on with this person's energy okay so let's see what we have here the four of pentacles what is the four of pentacles the tower straight up Aries and Scorpio within the tower <sighs> very fast energy as well so even in the future I'm seeing like you're saying that this person is selfish and I'm just seeing like you're giving up like you gate like something about the ten the four of pentacles like you just feel like they're trying to control this new beginning and it's like you're checking out you know this connection with the four of pentacles this person is coming up very selfish or hard to deal with and this happened because of some kind of money issue as well like this person could have a gambling issue that's another toxic situation and I'm seeing like this and this like really tore down your relationship your foundation that you had like one time you were close and then now you're not close anymore but there is still like this catch in love that brings you back together. Tell me about this Two of Cups in reverse. Oops. I got two. The Six of Pentacles and the Five of Wands in reverse. So they want to resolve this too. But what broke you up was because you were doing more than this person was doing for you. Oh now, tell me about this Five of Swords. Five of Swords energy. So there's a lot of competition here. Other people as well, not just as lovers. It's like you were fighting for your place within this connection. And then this person embarrassed you publicly. No, oh, that's crazy. This is why you're protecting yourself from this person. Like you're protecting your heart. Like. I'm just seeing you saying like, how many times are you going to hurt me? How many times? Like you're protecting them and they're wondering why you have checked out mentally. Like you're trying to protect your family, your space, your money. And they're talking about why you're the queen of pentacles in reverse. Like you're cutting them off financially for some of y'all. You're not taking care of them no more. <laughs> And they're going to the third party. Everything, every time you have something wrong with your relationship, this person runs to the third party. This person runs to the third party. Every time. This is crazy. All right, so tell me about the five of swords in reverse. The five of swords in reverse. Wow, so there's an apology. 
they really want to well they're appearing that they really want to do this like they're giving you an apology and everything within the future energy not in the present because we in the future okay so in the future they still want to resolve the five of uh, swords that we saw earlier the five of wands energy as well okay angel Raphael is standing firm in the future energy as well we had eight 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 on the freaking card straight eight of Pentacles eight of wands and eight of swords angel Michael appearing within the future so this is a, going to be a challenge in time this is what I'm seeing here a challenge in time tell me about the star in reverse well no tell me about the eight of Pentacles in reverse first Holy Spirit the eight of Pentacles in this person's energy the four of cups they ain't gonna change baby they're gonna give you the same thing this person got somebody else this is why they want to control they want to control the relationship if they're coming back to you they don't need you to make plans that they don't know about they need to check their schedule first to tell you if they can make it or not because you're going to be disappointed okay you're going to be disappointed tell me about this four of pentacles mm -mm. eight of pentacles look at that the eight of pentacles clarify the four of pentacles okay why i'm trying to clarify the four of pentacles they gave me the eight of pentacles again in reverse it's like the angel was saying girl didn't i tell you didn't i tell you why you keep trying to verify <laughs> oh my god the angel guys are serious all right y'all all right tell me about the star mm -mm. it's like they're saying there's nothing here to to clarify, I just gave you the four pentacles. Oh my goodness. Tell me about the star. Thank you, Angel God, ancestors. All right. Yep, they ain't ready. Don't even trust the five of swords. Nope, the ace of swords in reverse. You know what I told you about the ace of swords? That's a spiritual card. That's the breakthrough. That's the card for me that this person get it mentally. If they don't get it and they're in it to win it, soon as they get the next opportunity to embarrass you publicly or make you feel a certain way they're going to do it so this apology i'm sure they mean it in this moment but they're going to do it again whatever they're apologizing for they're going to do it again that's crazy that is crazy okay that is crazy Whatever they apologized for, they're going to do it again. Wow. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Mm -mm. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles. This is about you. We talked about that. We talked about how bright you look your independence even though you don't feel it it is so you it's like this person is trying to push you away somehow on a spiritual level like you can't reach them and you're trying to reach them but you can't reach them within this energy within this space it's like you're trying to find out like on a, a like a a more mature level like what to do you're trying to be that energy that can provide wisdom but you just can't you don't have anything right now you don't know what else you're lost in the sauce within this energy too and you just never felt like this because you've been there for so many other people but this person is just different all right, so let's just see what, you know, the feelings are. And let's see the spiritual messages in the divine deck. And then we're going to close, honey. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's see. Mm-hmm. 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see what we have here. If you guys have made it to this portion of the video, go ahead and give me some blue hearts, okay? Blue hearts in the comment section. Okay, so let's see here what we have. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. Let's see. Let's see what we have first with this person's feelings for you in the present moment. Let's see. What's our feelings for Gemini in the present moment? In the present moment, what we feeling for Gemini? Ooh, second chance. The Two of Cups keeps coming up in reverse. That's how you know this is you and no one else because they keep showing you as the Two of Cups energy. And even though you guys are in separation, this person still wants to be with you. Even though you're going through some kind of unbalanced situation right now within your relationship where it might just feel like there is no harmony here. Um, they still want to be with you. They still want a second chance. Um, it's like they're hoping that this is a temporary conflict, you know, not a permanent one. So, yeah, and that's what cups kept coming up within your read over and over again, which means that this person is not, it's going to come back again and again, even though this person keeps going back to some kind of toxic, um, addiction. I'm also seeing other people coming in here, options, I'm seeing the home energy, even though they're dealing with so many things, this could be multiple people, this could be their family, this could be the noise, I'm just seeing like they're looking at home, they're looking at the future, they're looking at the second chance. wow yeah this person wants a second chance so bad i'm seeing a family too so wait, tell me more holy spirit let me see what's on the back here like wow gems again it's like they feel like you're choosing to like release and forgive but there's no new direction to release the depression the anxiety the stress thoughts going back and forth within your mind so let's see wow so the divine is calling in water here and water is a lot of emotions okay you're going to feel things that you haven't felt in a while and I feel like this person is also going to feel things that they haven't felt in a while. But this is the purpose. Um, this also came up before within the read and said that if you, for those of you Geminis that have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces within your chart, like it's okay. You know, because it could be rough for you as an ear sign to deal with a lot of emotions. Okay. And to try to find out like how to navigate your emotions and to control your emotions because your sun is air okay um and you're not like the other gemini's you definitely have feelings you know you're not as cold so your your emotions are definitely all over the place and i'm just seeing like the vine saying like to accept who you are to accept you who you are don't hide it any longer as well i'm also seeing the energy of earth this could also be about healing but it says capricorn virgo taurus 
stay in love with the earth and expand the universe so i feel like a lot of you you know within this energy i just feel like a lot of you need to get out of your head and do things for the hurt do things for mother nature pick up those cans off the streets i mean clean up you know take care of your planet go hiking i mean you know go on a road trip with your friends enjoy the scenery there's so many places on this planet that we haven't even seen you know that reminds us of where we're from which is you know the spiritual realm like i was watching this girl's vlog and she travels right now she's in alaska and she it, it's like wow she's going to places that you only see on calendars like pictures on calendar pictures you know like of every season it's just so beautiful to know that this planet is it's beautiful you know we just live in the city and the mess and the noise and sometimes we need to go in our cars and just live and travel so so i'm just seeing like a lot of you need to go to, into your solitude within this capricorn virgo taurus energy within this earth energy and when you're happy and your your energy is like your body is like vibrating that positive vibration you're helping the universe to expand in that way as well by just telling someone that you love them that you don't know is helping the universe to expand by just opening a door to someone that you know has bags in their hands and you know say have a good day that's helping the universe to expand because the universe expands within love and i feel like you are definitely a part of that and this is like this video is reminding your soul and your body what you need to be doing because hey all right we tend we tend to forget in the noise so we have the divine of fire so this is another um energy that the holy spirit have called upon your life where things have been paused or things have been slow get ready for movement this is what i'm seeing get ready for fire get ready for the light like everything is about to be lit everything is about to be lit what's in the dark is coming to the light okay like you're going to see things you're going to have a lot of opportunities people are saying your name right now if a lot of you are looking for a job but hey you're going to have multiple jobs coming at you okay but you have to believe so get ready all right you have this person following you around the two soul ties here well it says lies so this person is acting like your twin flame or your soulmate all right which i feel like this is a soulmate situation but i'm also feeling like this could be a, a karmic situation as well because this person constantly put you through hell constantly like it's a cycle and they run to this third party for safety like who does that <laughs> yo this person had me laughing up in here okay partnerships deep love fighting to stay together two soul facing separation it is what it is two souls facing separation but i feel like in your case you guys must be facing separation like y'all can't get it together but you dealing with someone that has the devil's energy someone that has some kind of toxic situation that they keep going back to okay tell me more holy spirit tell me more tell me more i love it what's going on for gemini's tell me more oh you have angel michael in the strength in the tiger well not the tiger the lion energy hello the protector he appears within the lion that's why all these people out here taking lions for what i don't know what they're blowing them up putting you know having them in the house as statues like huh okay now this bet bet that same soul is going to have to be a lion in the next life and they're going to go through the same thing that they put that lion through just to feel how that lion felt you know <laughs> you know what it is and it's not going to be nice because i'm sure that lion was terrified but anyways this is this is what angel michael's appearing right right now to remind you to have strength because a lion is that strength nobody want to mess with no lion nobody gonna walk up to no lion unharmed you crazy <laughs> you crazy nobody gonna walk up to no big cats unharmed even them them house cats right now them big house cats nobody want to play with that crazy i know some people scared like there was this video of this girl she has a big cat and people was just like i know she's scared <laughs> 
but that was her pet but the cat is just look like a bigger you know those bigger cats house cats but mm -mm. yeah but when you raise a baby it's it's you know it's your baby it's your baby when you raise them then the angels are saying you're not alone five so you're going through a lot of five adversities which is the five of swords that we saw, the five of wands that this person is putting you through. Okay? A lot of low diversities plus the devil. That's three fives, 15. The devil is number 15. So they're putting you, this devil energy, this person that you're with, is putting you through a lot of low vibration. And I feel like what it is, Gemini, is like you separate yourself from this person. Well, they leave you anyway, because I'm seeing like this person is up and gone. Like they just. They constantly just bounce and come back, bounce and come back. But anytime they do that, they give you time to like heal. <laughs> they give you time to like recharge. Okay. All right. So this is the connection that, you know, you're supposed to be experiencing. Bless union. No one can break. Never let go of me again. Number 21. I just feel like there's going to have to be a decision that is made between this person and you. It's like. I feel like this is the bond that you're supposed to be at, but this person has an addiction. And when someone has an addiction within the life, they can't get to vibrate the energy or do their mission the correct way. So it seems like you and this person is supposed to be in this vibration. Blessed union, no one can break. Never let go of me again. Number 21. So this is judgment. This is decided. This is stamped. This is an ace. 21. But for some reason, this third party is like this. It's not even the third party. Is this person choosing this third party? I don't know what it is, but I'm just getting like third parties are winning. Why? Like third parties are winning. But this person constantly watches you. Especially when you're not together. Like now they're hanging around. I kept getting the hangman. Watching, waiting, spying, undercover. I'm seeing that when you're separated, James, you are stressed, depressed, and worried that this person is not coming back. A lot of you could be married to this person. And here you are dealing with a third party. You have attachment, codependency. Like this person is codependent. I don't feel like it's you. I feel like they're codependent. Fresh start, attachment removal, like you're trying to remove this person or like to reverse this contract. Like, you know, like you had many readings and they told you that this is a contract. Like, you have a contract. This is why you're going through this. And I'm telling you, like, the reason why you're going through this is because you put this person through this in a past life. And this is what it is. Because I'm seeing balance is an issue. The, the scales has to be balanced. Remember, we talked about the, the scales. We talked about the Wheel of Fortune. How important it was. It all adds up. It all comes together. Like, there is no way. Like this has to be balanced out. But this what is making it really worse is that this person forms some kind of codependency on some kind of drug or some kind of addiction. So they can't get to live their life or do the mission the way it's supposed to be done correctly. I'm seeing fearless energy, bold, spirited, and brave. I feel like you're going to have to take the wheel. Like you're diving into about to get some kind of crown chakra activity going on here. Like you're about to receive some kind of messages from your divine. Like something is about to change within your life. Because right here, you have the nine of swords. It says, it says fearful. It says depression. It says stress, worry. And this is the opposite. The opposite. So it's like you woke up. Like you were scared, but something tapped into you where you just fearless, bold, spirited, and brave. So it's like your guys are saying, no way. And just gave you this crown chakra activity. Oh my God. Receiving messages, understanding the purpose, understanding what's going on. Everything is clear. Your path is clear. Your mission is clear. And you're just more calmer. Finally, finally showing your true face not afraid anymore you need you need help 444 angel michael um showing up here covering you focus and angel Raphael number seven 
there's like this angel is constantly trying to show you signs or show you something because you're seeking you're seeking for the truth you're becoming awake you're awake it says it right here it says seeking seeker becoming awake focus this is what this is man all right, y'all, I'm going to end it right here. I love y'all. All the information is going to be in the description box when it comes to personals. Like I said, make sure you read the description box, you guys, before you get in touch with me. All the prices are there. That's everything in the description box, okay? I love y'all, and I hope you guys understand, and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.